Hey, over the next few days, I'm going to cover something that I've been asked about quite a few times, which is what fuel do I run in my Mercedes? And I always tell people premium. Uh, that's what I use. That's what you should use. That's what the manufacturer recommends. It's a high, um, high output, high um, compression ratio engine, which means that knock is, is, is a possibility if you use a lower grade fuel. But over the next few days, I'm going to empty my tank. I'm going to make sure that I have nothing but regular in and then we're gonna drive it and I'm gonna put uh, hook up the real-time uh, uh, code reader and I'll be able to tell we'll be able to video what uh, how much knocking we're getting in real time and I'm gonna do that on regular and then I'm gonna make sure all the regulars out of the tank do it on mid actually I'm gonna start on mid-grade I think would be the best because I'm I am at premium now um, so then to lower it to mid-grade is not too hard to uh, to run a few tanks and then lower that again to regular and then I'll do premium uh, at the end. I'll do the premium the last, because um, I'm gonna be wanting to get that regular out of my car pretty quick. And um, yeah, a lot of people are like, well, knocking doesn't really matter because you have a knock sensor. It automatically adjusts the timing in order to, uh, you know, to take care of any knock in your engine. Well, that's kind of like saying, I have a fire extinguisher in my car and every time it catches fire, the fire extinguisher puts it out, so I don't really have to worry about the fire. The knock can damage your car over time. You know, if you have to for the, you know, for whatever reason, if you you can run on mid grade or regular, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend giving it full throttle. I wouldn't dri recommend driving under load towing under heavy conditions, uphill, you know, accelerating, blah blah blah. But I'm going to do just those things and film it to show you what the. Uh, the result is to show you what you're what's happening inside your engine when you do those things so um, anyway it's gonna take a few days to to drain the tank you know not drain it but you know use all the fuel in the tank fill up uh, and then use part of that tank again or half that tank again fill up again to so make sure that I've got mostly you know 95 96 percent um, of whatever fuel I'm supposed to have eh, almost dropped my phone uh, 96 percent 95 percent of whatever fuel I'm supposed to have in the tank so um, it's gonna be pretty close but not exactly like when I get down to regular it might be instead of 87 octane it might be 87.2 because there's gonna be a bit of mid-grade left in there but everything else should be fine um, anyway we'll get to that and uh, see what the results are I, I'm pretty damn sure what the results are gonna be but uh, hopefully this will close the discussion for people that think it's okay to run your Mercedes on regular fuel and, it isn't and hopefully well not hopefully we are going to show that it's not uh, I'm pretty damn sure what the results are going to be and I'm putting my car to the uh, test for this I'm um, putting my car out on a limb for everyone to see anyway uh, I will show you the results of the next knock days. that is going to change so right now I've got uh, I've run a tank through of mid-grade and um, I put a second tank of mid-grade in, so 89 octane. And right now I'm going to hopefully keep this on my lap while I'm driving <laughs> without killing myself on the highway. And obviously um, a knock and load, uh, knock generally comes from load. So driving under a low throttle opening, um, there's not gonna be much knock no matter what gas you use. Under high throttle opening, you know, when you're or high load going up a hill increasing throttle and you know giving it gas you're gonna notice more knock uh, or there will there's a tendency for there to be more, more knock if there is going to be knock more pre-ignition so basically I'm gonna accelerate out of here and there's a hill up ahead and I'm going to you know give it some gas and hammer it kind of up the hill I'm gonna go full, full throttle up the hill and we'll see what uh, you know whether there's any knock detected by the, uh, the knock sensor in the engine so let's see how this goes and again I'm gonna have to repeat this I'm gonna have to do this again with uh, regular gas and high octane fuel or premium after this so again hopefully this stays I'm just gonna keep the, uh, the camera on my lap on the sensor as I pull out onto the highway, I'm going to hammer it and we'll see if there's any knock detected. So a tiny bit in cylinder number four there. So just cut 
coming to the hill, and when I get to the bottom of the hill, I'm doing about 100 kilometers an hour right now, I'm going to floor it. I'm at the bottom of the hill, and I'm flooring it now. Okay, so there is some knock detected under load going up the hill. Again, this is mid-grade, so I'm going to... I mean, this is all of the risk I'm willing to put my engine under, or my car under, you know, for this test. I'm hammering it again. Doing about 130, 140 foot is to the floor. Okay. So we've measured that knock, and I'm going to, in a couple of days, once I've run, uh, I'm going to go to, I guess I'll go to the lowest grade. I'm going to go to regular fuel next. I'll run a tank of regular through, you know, fill this tank, fill it, run it through with regular, put a second tank, and that's about as close as I'm going to possibly get to, you know, completely having a tank of regular tank of mid grade. So this is mid grade that we've just done now. In a couple of days, we'll go through the regular, and then once that's done, we'll move on to the premium and see if there's actually any difference. Obviously, there was knock detected there, but I don't know whether or not that knock will be detected with premium, uh, if there'll be any difference, but hey, we'll all find out at the same time, won't we? So uh, anyway, until I'm back in a couple of days, this is the first part of the test, mid-grade, and back in a little while, well, back in a couple of days. Okay, this is gonna be the second day of the test, well, the second part of the test, it's two days later. Same time, uh, same time of morning, same road, uh, same basic temperature uh, within a degree or two and now I've got nothing but regular gas in the tank for the most part I'd say about 95% 96% of the tank is regular fuel um, so anyway I'm driving along I'm doing 100 kilometers an hour and as you can see there's no knock right now but I'm just at steady 100 kilometers an hour and I am now going to We'll see how much knock we get. Well, yikes, quite a bit. <laughs> I don't even need to do this test again because I don't want to do this to my car. Um, yeah, I know the knock sensor kicks in and retards the timing and keeps your engine from blowing up, but it's still not good for it. Um, so anyway, I've driven for about a day or about a half a day on regular fuel and very, very light throttle. That's the first time I've actually put my foot down on it with the, uh, with the regular in because I, don't, I know this is going to happen, so I didn't I'll do it one more time for you. Yeah, I hate this. So again, I'm doing 105, 105 kilometers an hour, and I'm going to go to half throttle. Okay, we're at the last test, and this is premium gas. Probably 97, 98% of the tank is premium, so we're probably at 90.8, 90.9%, 90 or 90.8, 90 90.9 90 octane. So, uh, same part of the road as before, same basic conditions. It's a degree warmer, that's about it. Get onto the on ramp and accelerate, and we'll see how much knock we get. Sorry, it's a little bumpy here.
regular is finally out of the line. I just finally topped up the last of the tank to 